it's spring break and you know what that means you've got kids running around the house and you're trying to figure out what to feed them all day long so i've got a great quick simple recipe that you're going to love to make together with your kids i'm nancy farrar and i'm the chef impersonator and i'm a home cook just like you and i'm here with my buddy Elude Castro. Elude owns Geppetto's Pizza Truck and that pizza truck is at the two food parks in Fort Worth almost every weekend and he's going to show us how to make, you'll never believe this, he's going to show us how to make fried mozzarella in a waffle maker. So take it away. All right. Well, first how do thing, we do this? First things first, I bought a, uh, a, loaf, of, a loaf of mozzarella Right. and there's different sizes, different uh, types but uh what i'm gonna do is cut it about half an inch okay so about a finger width don't put your finger in the way though so relatively thick relatively thick if I would not say. it kind of turns into mush yeah and it's you still don't want mush it's still <laughs> edible but okay so we take this nice and we're gonna just quarter it up so if you have a little round one you can just make smaller ones but right. this is a larger one so we will take it and we will quarter it just like so perfect there we go. And, and then, then what you got here? Right here we have our uh, basic egg wash with a little bit of a uh, egg with a little bit of water, and then our Italian breadcrumbs. Perfect. Here, so. Italian breadcrumbs. You know they just have that little bit of extra seasoning, and I use them. I, I can't tell you when I last time I used regular breadcrumbs was. Okay, there you go. But if you don't have so, that, you can always use cornflakes. You can use. Fritos, you can use Lay's potato chips. I mean, just oh, anything. Yeah. Anything yeah, that's gonna anything have a crunchy. little crispy texture. Nice. So just dip, dip, fry, dip, dip, fry. fry. Yeah. Dip, dip, fry. Dip, dip, fry. Here we go. So what's the secret here? As you put it into the, as you put it into the fry. Not fryer. losing it because it gets a little <laughs> slippery. <laughs> slippery and little so you're messy. So just gonna bread them. I'll do the next one while just you're bread doing them, that. Just bread them, just like that. Lightly put them on there. It is slippery. Little, I little egg. You. A little egg, little egg, little breadcrumb, little breadcrumb, little clean hands, and right in the towel. center there. Right in the center. Boom. And I'll do this next one again. A little okay. slit. Now you you've all probably heard about um, making fried cheese in the oven. Kind of the same, the, really the exact recipe. Um, but you just take the sticks of cheese and put it in the oven. Well, Elude here has come up with this fabulous little recipe, um, and it's going to be, I think, super. Boom, boom, okay, boom. so we got. Clean up our hands. All right, let me take that and we just set it down. For a very short period of time, right? Yeah, it takes about 45 seconds to a minute. And we have it on medium, so hopefully your waffle iron has and a I'll little... And I'll let you rub your hands with that if you'd like. Yes, thank you. And um, so the waffle iron is on what setting, roughly? Is it kind of a medium? It's about a medium. Okay. It, um, and then it act this one actually beeps and tells you supposedly when your waffle is ready, but these aren't waffles. Right. So, okay. Sam is telling me it's, it's beeping. It's up to temp, so we're gonna take a peek. We're gonna see what they look like. Oh my goodness! Look at that. They look beautiful. They look fabulous. They look like waffles. We're gonna turn that off, just because you keep them going, they turn into. A, and I'll get this out of your way. They turn Here's into little pie. balls of putty. <laughs> Which are still good. They're still edible. <laughs> All right, plastic fork so I don't want to scratch up my uh, my waffle maker here. And then we just start to getting get them it. out is the fun part. It is the fun part. I wish it was an instant off. See, so what you'll see in the in the recipes in my column in the Star Telegram are um, things that kids love to eat that don't have preservatives, that you're making at home for them. And so this is a great example of that. And you can right. get these at Elude's uh, Geppetto pizza truck anytime you stop by. Ooh, Look at those. See? Oh, they're beautiful. I got goosebumps, they're so good. And then I've got some sauce, and you can use homemade sauce, you can use jarred sauce, but any kind of nice marinara sauce is gonna really go great with those. And so we've got a little marinara. Ta-da! Ta-da! Little marinara in there, a little and a little sauce. garnish, and there you have it. 
What are we gonna call these? We're gonna call them fried cheese in a waffle iron. So I call them waffle cheese sticks. Waffle cheese sticks. Okay, there you have it. So you can find Elude and the um, Geppetto Pizza Truck at both of the food truck parks in Fort Worth. So you gotta stop by and get some of these and get some delicious pizza. And you can find five more recipes that are awesome for spring break for you and your kids in my column in the Star Telegram at star-telegram.com. And when you get there, just go to the search bar and type in Chef Impersonator and it'll take you to them. Or on my blog at chefimpersonator.com. This is food trucking at its best right here. <laughs> These are awesome. The kids are going to love them. I bet adults will love them too. Everybody loves them. Who Everybody. doesn't like cheese sticks? Who doesn't like cheese sticks? And if you mess up, it's still edible. So That's right. You're going to love it. I'm Nancy Farrar and remember, with a little practice, you too can be a Chef Impersonator.